What is up everybody? Chris Kuga here back again with another tutorial, this time about keyframing. If you've ever wondered what is a keyframe, how do you use them, and why would you use them, then you have come to the right place. Because today, I'm gonna teach you all about the basics of keyframing. So first off, what is a keyframe? In media production, a keyframe is a location on the timeline that marks either the beginning or the end of a transition. Basically, we use keyframes to animate effects and create movement kind of like this. So now that you have the basic concept of keyframes, here's how we're going to use them. All right, so now that we are in Premiere, um, I'm just going to quickly scrub through this first clip to show that it has no effects on it and how we're going to animate it. Um, so as we see, it's just a drone shot, nothing much going on. We have that red car, but we're not following it. So how do we animate some effects? Um, with the clip selected, right, you want to go into your effect controls panel. And I haven't even added anything, so no color corrector, no anything, right? These are just the natural tabs you're going to see. Um, and to add a keyframe, it's really simple. You're going to see this little stopwatch little icon. It says toggle animation. Click that, and as soon as you do, you'll see at your timeline, this little diamond shape has been added. That is a keyframe. That marks the beginning of a transition, right? Um, so this is specifically for the position. Now, if I move the timeline farther out, there's two ways I can add... Um, another keyframe. The first is if I hit this little diamond little icon, boom, it adds, adds one right there. And then from here, you can go ahead and change these values. Okay. Second way, you don't even have to actually hit this little icon. What you can do is you can just change the values here. Even if I just change it just one position, right? Just a couple, it adds one right there. So here's our clip um, with the two keyframes added for, for the position. Um, I'm going to play it just so we can see what we have and then we can go from there. So the position is moving, we're pushing the video off screen, but as you're seeing we got a little problem. We have this black box up here. Um, we can actually get rid of this very easily by using keyframes on a different effect. And I'm going to do this um, by adding keyframes to the scale. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to line up to the first keyframe and I can ensure that I'm on it by clicking this little arrow icon, right? This takes you to the next keyframe. So I can go there, boom, I can go right back. Um, just really easy alignment. And I'm gonna hit this little, the icon to add a keyframe, right? I'm good at the scale, it's looking good at this, at this first keyframe. So I'm gonna go to the next one, okay? And then I'm gonna add another keyframe here. And I'm just gonna zoom in. I don't need it to be perfect for this, but I just wanna get rid of that black bar. Um, say right around there. Perfect. Let's check it out. Here's the clip. All right, so much better, right? We're zooming in, we're changing the position at the same time, no more black bar, exactly what we were looking for. All right, so one way you can really enhance this video very, very quickly, and it's super easy. Let's go back over to your effect controls. And so we have the keyframing going, right? Like I said, it's, it's looking good. Um, but if you drop down on these little carrots for whatever effect you're keyframing, I'll just go to the position. What you're going to notice here is this, this little graph, and basically this is a speed graph for the keyframes. So when you start, you're going to notice here it's at a velocity of 51.2, and pay attention to that, right? It's flat all the way across, right? The whole way through. If that's the look you're going for, that's fine, but I personally think it doesn't look super organic. It just doesn't look the most natural, but don't worry, right? It's a super easy fix for this. So if I drag over these two keyframes here, and then I right-click, and go to Temporal Interpolation, and then choose Ease In, you're gonna see the graph immediately changes. Now I'm just gonna pull this one down just so we can kinda of get a different look here. And immediately you're gonna see, instead of that 51 number, when we're starting, we're starting, we're easing into the effect, it's gonna reach its peak speed right around the top there, and then it's gonna fade out, right? Now I have a clip that's already rendered um, that has a Ease In and Ease Out effect, so I'm just gonna play that so you can see a little bit of the difference. Right, so it's kind of zooming in. It's a little smoother. The thing is, it's not going to be super, um, it's not going to stand out too much because it's organic movement, right? Just one more time. 
perfect. Just a little bit smoother. I personally like it. Feel free to mess around with this. If you want the flat look, completely fine. No problem with that. But I would say try messing around with these little easing effects. Um, it can really enhance your video. Cool. So our clip is looking great, right? We've added some keyframes. We created the animation. Today we did it with the position and the scale. And we also added that ease in, ease out to create that organic kind of look to the, uh, to the animation. Just a couple quick things I want to highlight. So Premiere is very powerful, right? Um, if you see this little stopwatch icon, you can keyframe it. You can keyframe almost anything in Premiere. Additionally, you can keyframe the audio. And this can be very powerful. I didn't know about this for a while, or I just didn't really think about it. But say you're like interviewing someone, right? And you have some background music playing. Let's pretend this is the music clip. You add a keyframe. And let's say right around here, you have the interviewee start speaking. And you don't want the music blaring over them. You just add another keyframe, right? Like we were doing before, just drop it down. Super simple, and it's going to give you some great audio. So don't be afraid to mess with that. Very powerful. Also, um, this is just a quick tip. Nothing super big here, but say you're uh, you're editing your keyframe in your video clip here, and you accidentally click your toggle animation while you already have some keyframes. This is going to delete them. Say this warning and come up. Boom. Right. Don't freak out. Just Command Z, Control Z. You bring it right back. Yeah. So just a couple quick tips there. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned a little bit more about keyframing today and just how powerful they can be to create some really cool animations and effects. If you liked the video, make sure to like it down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. I got tons of tutorials coming out all the time, so make sure you can stay posted on that. If you have any questions or comments, please drop them in the comment section below and I will make sure to get back to you. Um, other than that, have a great day.